So are you also still sending WhatsApp messages manually? Then this video is definitely for you. So hello all, welcome back to Pabli Connect. And in this video, we are going to understand how to send and get WhatsApp message on contact form 7 submission using WhatsApp Cloud API. So here I'm running a business and we gather the details of our potential clients with the help of contact form 7. So now what I want is that as soon as we receive the details of our potential clients with the help of contact form 7, automatically an automated WhatsApp message should be sent to that potential client. Not only this, I should also get informed about the new lead received or the new details received of my potential clients so that we can follow up quickly and efficiently. So to do this, we are going to create a connection between contact form 7 and WhatsApp. To create this connection without knowing any programming or coding language, we are going to use Pabli Connect. It is an amazing automation software. So do you also want to create this automation for your business then for that you have to come with me towards my screen welcome to my screen so in this tutorial i'll show you how to connect contact form 7 with whatsapp cloud api to send and receive whatsapp messages whenever someone submits a contact form 7 this automation can help you streamline your communication this will instantly acknowledge the form submitters and notify you about the new submissions too it is simple yet effective so let's get started and see how it is done so let's get started with a really simple example let's say that my name is demo user and i'm just going to fill in this contact form 7 all right so as you can see that i have entered all of my details and now i'm just going to click on this submit to submit my details all right and as soon as we're going to click on this submit right over here yes you can see that we have successfully submitted this form so now i'm just going to open my whatsapp and yes you can see that we have received automated whatsapp message it says hello demo user and you can see the message sent to the lead who submitted the form also you can see a message received by me which is hello we have received a new lead via contact form 7 here are the details you can see the name email and the phone number of the same right so we have successfully successfully sent an automated whatsapp message and also we have got that same all right so this is the dual communication we are going to establish in today's video and if you also want to create this automation for your business then you have to watch this video till the end so to do this i've simply opened the landing page of pabli by searching pabli.com slash connect in my browser it is very easy and as soon as we are going to open the landing page of pabli we are going to get two options one is sign in and the other one is sign up for free so if you are a new user you can click on the sign up for free and you are going to get 100 of tasks free every month but over here i'm an existing user so i'm just going to click on the sign in and as soon as we are going to click on the sign in it is opening all pabli apps over here you can see all the tools and applications offered by pabli but in today's video we are going to use pabli connect because we are connecting different applications which is contact form 7 and whatsapp right so i'm just going to click on this access now right over here to access my pabli connects account and now it is opening my dashboard and to start with this automation we have to click on this button which says create workflow and now it is asking me for the workflow name and the folder I want to save the workflow in. So over here I want to save the workflow in this folder which is automations and I want to name my workflow as how to send and get WhatsApp message on contact form 7 submission using WhatsApp Cloud API contact form 7 to whatsapp and then we have to just click on this create and as soon as we are going to click on this create it is opening the most important window of our automation which is our workflow window so this is the most important window because we have triggered an action in this so trigger and actions are the two main principles on which our workflow will work all right trigger means when this happens and action means do this so by this you can understand that the actions are response towards the commands given by our trigger all right so that's the reason that we can have only a single trigger but multiple actions following the commands of our trigger all right okay so let's get started today what i want is i want to send and get whatsapp message on contact form 7 submission right so we are just going to select our trigger application as contact form 7 so i'm just going to search for contact form 7 and as you can see the same so we are going to select it now it is asking me for the trigger event so basically trigger event is the event on which the workflow will start so over here what i want is that as soon as a new form submission is made my workflow should be triggered or started so we are just going to select the same as our trigger event and as soon as we are going to select the trigger event it is giving me a webhook url 
So we are going to use the same webhook URL in order to create a connection between our contact form 7 account and our Pabli Connects workflow. So what we have to do is first I'm just going to copy this webhook URL and then we have to follow these steps given over here all right. So it is saying install and activate the contact form 7 plugin from the plugin section in your WordPress dashboard. Click on edit option for a particular form in the form section in the WordPress dashboard and navigate to the webhook section and check the send to webhook checkbox. Alright, so we have to follow the same. First, you have to keep in mind that on your WordPress account, the contact form 7 plugin should be installed and activated. I have already completed it. As you can see that this is my WordPress account. And over here, you can see that I've already installed this contact forms plugin. Alright, so I'm just going to open my contact forms. Alright, and after opening this contact forms over here, you can see all the forms which I've already created. But I want to create this automation only for a particular form, which is this inquiry form for interior designing services so i'm just going to open this form right from here and after opening this form we have to go towards the webhook section as mentioned in the help text all right so now i'm just going to go towards the webhook section and then we have to check this checkbox which says send to webhook and after checking this we have to enter this webhook url so here we are just going to paste the url which we copied from our workflow and after doing this we are going to scroll down and click on this save and as soon as we're going to click on this save yes you can see that we have success successfully added our webhook url and now with this we have successfully created a connection between our contact form 7 and our Pabli connects workflow but now it is saying waiting for a webhook response and in the notes it is saying do a test submission slash record so in order to capture this webhook response we have to do a test submission or record all right so what i have to do is i'm just going to open the form i connected right now with my workflow so as you can see that this is the form we connected right now with our workflow right and we have to do the test submission for this form only so let's say that for the first name i'm just going to keep it as test last name as user email as test user at the rate pablitudes.com and over here you can see the phone number and now it is asking me what you would like to design so over here let's say that i'm just going to select it as office and then for the organization name i'm just going to select it as lakeview offices and then we have to just click on this submit and yes you can see that now we have successfully submitted this form and now what has happened is that contact form 7 has sent the details of a test submission to our workflow and yes over here you can see that pabli has captured the response over here you can see all the details which we entered you can see the first name the last name the phone the email the organization name and also the design okay so yes with this we have successfully completed our trigger step and now what will happen is that as soon as a new form submission is received from my contact form 7 automatically this workflow is going to get triggered and probably is going to capture the response for the same so further what I want is, I want to send and get a WhatsApp message on contact form 7 submission. So let's say first we are going to move on towards the send alright. So in order to send automated WhatsApp messages, I am just going to use WhatsApp Cloud API today. You can use any another application like Pabli Chatflow and also AI Sensei alright. So I am just going to search for WhatsApp Cloud API right over here. And as you can see WhatsApp Cloud APS, so we are going to select it. And now after selecting this for the action event, we have to select it as send template message and click on this connect. And now it is asking me to add a new connection and select an existing connection. So if you have already connected your WhatsApp Cloud API account with your Pabli Connects workflow, then you can click on this select existing connection and then save. But if you haven't, you have to follow me, click on add a new connection and now it is asking me for the token, the phone number ID and the WhatsApp business account ID and to get this we have to click on this learn more hyperlink given right over here all right and as soon as we're going to click on this learn more hyperlink over here it is redirecting me to the pabli forum window and over here you can see step by step whatsapp cloud api setup inside pabli connect so this is a really simple video which will help you to learn how to set a whatsapp cloud api inside pabli connect and also how to generate the permanent token for whatsapp cloud api so you can refer these videos and create your own APS setup. I have already created my APS setup so I'm just going to open it. As you can see that this is my APS setup. Over here you can see my access token. You can see the phone number ID and the WhatsApp business account ID. So I'm just going to copy all of these three right from here and we are going to paste it right over here in my workflow. And after pasting all of these we just have to click on this save. And as soon as we are going to click on this save right over here we are going to wait for a few seconds and yes you can see that we have successfully connected our WhatsApp Cloud API account with our public connects workflow 
And now it is asking me for the template name. So here I'm just going to let you know about this template name. For that, I'm just going to open my API setup once again. And over here you can see to create your own message template, click here. So we again have to click on this hyperlink given with here. And as soon as we're going to open this hyperlink, it is going to open all the message templates which I have already created. All right, you can see all the templates. So I'm just going to use one from this only. If you wish, you can definitely create a new template by clicking on this create template button given right over here but i'm going to use this template which is send message in order to send automated whatsapp messages all right you can see that this is my template and you can see the template name is send message so i'm just going to select the same template name which is send message all right and as soon as we're going to select this template name right over here automatically pabli is going to detect the language code and the template id we don't have to change it directly we are going to move on towards the recipient mobile number over here we have to enter the mobile number to the one who we have to send this automated whatsapp message so here you can see that it is send message so we have to send this whatsapp message towards our lead all right who submitted the form so what we're going to do is we're going to map the number of our lead right over here so mapping is a method by pabli which means inserting the data from the previous step and as you know our previous step was the trigger step where we selected contact form 7 as our trigger application so we are just going to map the details from the response of a trigger application only and as soon as we are going to map these details automatically my details will turn dynamic and change with every new response received all right so here i'm just going to map the mobile number of my lead as you can see the same so we're going to map it so yes as we map this field has turned a dynamic one but let's say that once again i'm just going to erase this and write it right away manually then this would have not been changed with every new response received because then this field would have turn static all right but if you're going to map this then this will turn dynamic and change with every new response received all right now we're going to move on forward it is asking me for the body field one example test user so to let you know about this body field one once again i'm just going to show you my template all right so as you can see over here is my template and you can notice that over here one is in curly brackets right so what i want is that in front of hi i want the name of my lead who submitted the form so that's why i've kept this one as a variable which would be replaced with the lead name i've kept this as a variable because i want that each of my lead receive a more personalized automated whatsapp message you can see something like this which is high test user so what we have to do is we have to map this value of one right over here in my workflow all right so the value of one is the lead name so i'm just going to look for the lead name and as you can see first name so we're going to map it and then we're going to map the last name and after doing all of this we just have to click on this save and test request but over here i'll just let you know that as you can see that this is a dummy phone number right so i'm just going to replace this dummy phone number with my original phone number so that i can show you the message and the response received so i'm just going to replace this and after replacing this we just have to click on this save and send test request and as soon as we're going to click on this save and send test request yes you can see that we have received a positive response that we have successfully sent an automated whatsapp message to this lead so now what we are going to do is i'm just going to open my whatsapp and check for the new whatsapp message received and yes you can see that we have received a new whatsapp message which says hi test user thank you for reaching out to us we have received your inquiry and our team is already reviewing it we'll get back to you shortly with the information you need if you have any specific question or details to share in the meantime feel free to reply to this message so yes you can see that we have successfully sent an automated whatsapp message and now what i want is i want to get an automated whatsapp message too so that i also get notified with every new lead for that i'm just going to add another action step right over here once again for the action application we are going to select it as whatsapp cloud api so i'm just going to search for it and select it and now for the action event once again we have to select send template message and click on this connect so i've recently connected my whatsapp cloud api account so i'm just going to click on this select existing connection and then save all right and as soon as we're going to click on this save right over here yes you can see that we have success successfully connected our whatsapp cloud api once again all right once again it is asking me for the template name so this time i want it to be get message all right and once again as soon as we're going to select the template name automatically pabli is going to detect the language code and the template id so we don't have to change it 
we are going to move in forward to its the receptant mobile number so this time i want the receptant mobile number to be a static information because i am the one who is going to receive the automated whatsapp messages right so i'm not going to map this but instead we are going to enter it manually right over here so i'm just going to enter my whatsapp number right over here and after entering this whatsapp number we are going to move on forward it is asking me for the body field one body field two and body field three so once again to let you know this i'm just going to open my template and as you can see that this is my template right over here you can see that we have three variables name email and phone so we are going to map the details of these variables right over here in my workflow so i'm just going to map the name first so i'm just going to look for name we are going to map this test user all right we're going to move on forward we're going to map the email too i'm just going to map the email we're going to map the phone number of our lead too so now after mapping all of these details once again we are just going to click on this save and send test request all right and yes you can see that we have received a positive response so once again i'm just going to open my whatsapp and check for the new whatsapp message received and yes you can see that we have received an automated whatsapp message which says hello we have received a new lead via contact form 7 here are the details the name the email and the phone yes you can see that i have received the lead details right over here on my whatsapp and also my lead will receive this automated whatsapp message too so yes with this we have successfully completed our workflow and now what will happen is that as soon as a new form submission is made in my contact form 7 automatically an automated whatsapp message would be sent to my lead and i will also get an automated whatsapp message so i'm just going to rename this action step to get automated whatsapp messages right so i'm just going to go towards the three dots and then rename and i'm just going to keep it as get message all right so i'm just going to rename it right over here and click on this update so yes you can see that one is send message and one is get message all right so with this i can avoid any confusion so yes with this we have successfully completed our workflow all right and now what will happen is we don't have to come back and again to our workflow to click on the save and send test request button this workflow is going to run in backend and we can just sit back and relax i'll receive automated whatsapp messages like this and my lead will receive an automated whatsapp messages like this so yes this was it for the video and if you have any questions related to the video or the workflow you can just directly comment on this video and for your reference i'll just clone this workflow and share the workflow link in the description box so that you can access my workflow i hope this video was helpful for you thank you for watching so not only these applications but with the help of Pabli connect you can integrate many more applications so if you have any doubts you can reach us at support at the readpabli.com if you have any queries you can reach us at forum.pabli.com and if you have any pricing related issues you can follow this website and if you find our videos helpful do like and subscribe our channel thank you for watching